just an absolutely overwhelming WWE backstage update on the future and career of Cesaro. Welcome to another edition of The Brash. Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with the latest backstage rumors, news, and developments as concerns Cesaro's future in the injury that he sustained on Raw during his Best of 7 series with Sheamus. Please take the time to share this video on Twitter and Facebook. It will take you all but 10 to 20 seconds. The belief was that the voicing his frustration won over some people backstage in WWE. Remember when Cesaro spoke and ranted about his run and how he didn't appreciate being drafted on Raw. He would have rather gone to SmackDown. More opportunity, more matches, more ring time. A bigger push was rumored for the Swiss Superman after WWE's brand extension over the past month. He's been winning a few more matches and was the favorite to win the Best of Seven series with Sheamus, which many people expected to catapult him to the next level. But now there's an injury. Cesaro's injury status is going to be heavily monitored and reported on over the next week. If his injury is legitimate, the news is going to travel fast around WWE. And the WWE would not want to lose someone with the credibilities and credentials of Cesaro, seeing that they just lost Finn Balor. And it'll be reported on sooner rather than later. If WWE is working the injury angle, as they have done in the past, Cesaro is most likely going to make a major push in the series with Sheamus to tie it at two wins apiece. Now there is rumors that this injury could be so severe and real that this could be the end of Cesaro's run with World Wrestling Entertainment. Here it's hoping that is not the case at all. We have seen many superstars go down over the last several years from Edge to Daniel Bryan. And I'm not even going to go through the list of other superstars over the last several years that have had to, uh, you know, say goodbye earlier than what they wanted to. Let's hope that this is not the case with Cesaro, but it is a situation that Cesaro was so good in that ring. He's such a good seller. He can manipulate you into thinking he's really hurt, he's really injured, and then all of a sudden he bounces back. I mean, this could be the biggest comeback story in Cesaro's WWE future. I mean, here is a guy that should have already been a world champion. He is a world-class athlete, but he is missing, missing that intangible of being a good talker. Like Jerry the King Lawler said... You know, he's got the personality of uh, watching uh, paint dry, which I think is it's, he's a little bit better than that. And I'm not sure if that was Jerry Lawler's exact words. See, if they just if they wouldn't script Cesaro so much, I think he would be better and improved on the mic. But, you know, um, I'm hoping that Cesaro can come back. And I really do hope that if Cesaro comes back and he's healthy, even if he misses a month or two and that sets back the best of seven series, well, then at least that gives Cesaro something else to catapult him back when he comes back. But hopefully he does become WWE champion sometime in the near future. Excuse me, the Universal Champion because he's on Raw. Subscribe.